Hey, good morning, Facebook, YouTube, how are you? Hey, guys, I'm just building, making, or bake my cake, and I've got some homemade whipped cream done up here, yeah, you know it, and then I got some filling that I'll be using for my cake, okay, making a, it's called a banana split cake, a strawberry banana split cake, my mom makes this all the time. And we all go nuts over it. I even have some people down here I make it for. Monica, for OZ, your crew. You guys all like it, right? Yeah. Hey, so anyway, it's going to be a short video. Today's my day off. I'm still kind of hanging out in my pajama clothes. Who cares, right? It's misty and crappy down here. But anyway, so I've got this cake. I made a rectangle sheet cake. And I've already got it baked. i got my sponge. And I already got it trimmed flat, you know, cut it so it's level. Nice pan that um, I got last year for Christmas. All right. A platter, I should say. Okay, you guys, the first thing you want to do, this cream cheese mixture, this, this filling is made with instant vanilla, cream cheese, sour cream, and cold milk, a little vanilla. You just beat, beat, beat till it gets nice and thick, you guys. That's your first layer on this cake. So let me get that on there. You guys watch me do it. You don't have to be real fancy either. Okay. You guys see what I'm doing? And what I do is I just go on in globs and spots like this. Just go in globs. Easier for when you're spreading and getting it, you know, getting it leveled out here. Ah, you guys, this, and this filling is delish. Kind of almost tastes like a vanilla cheesecake to me in a way. By adding the sour cream. I don't, you don't have to add the sour cream to this mixture. But it's, you know, the regular size pudding box, instant, vanilla. One block of cream cheese, eight ounces, softened. And I went in with a half a cup of sour cream, one cup of milk. And just beat, 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 beat till it gets really thick. Oh, and just put a teaspoon of vanilla. So good. All right, now, that's on there. Okay, I'm just going to, you know, I got stuff over here to the side. Let me move it out. All right, I just, and I'm just going on. I go right almost to the edge. See how that spreads so much easier by globbing it in sections? So what you want to do? Oh my goodness. This is my favorite part of the cake. I could eat just this on the cake. I go a little, I, and I'm spreading it thick. You guys know what? I want to taste that stuff. So I hope you guys all had a good weekend. I had a quiet day yesterday because I was. Well, as some of you fans that follow me on Quarantine Karaoke know, oh, I had a late night Saturday night. Well, not that late, but late for me. And maybe one too many guys. So sorry about that. So anyway, now just now you can, this is going to be a little lumpy, but you want to beat it and try to get it as smooth as possible. Because the cream cheese, once you put the cold melted sour cream in here, that has a tendency to kind of firm up some of your cream cheese while you're beating it. But it's all right. Okay, this right here, see how that's done? Just layer up, spread her on, nice layer. Like I said, put it on thick. I'm just trying to make it even. Right here is the part where I got to dip. All right, guys. Oh, you guys. Mmm, good. All right, now, I'm going to wipe my hands up. The next layer is going to be Sliced banana, okay? Uh, let's see. Now, what I like to do when I'm slicing my banana, I kind of, you know, I kind of like to go at an angle, a long angle, and, you know, just cut them. That just helps cover the cake faster. You're not, you know, cutting up, putting all these little coins of banana on the cake. 
The way it's said, I'm talking about. It'd be cut up anyway when you cut it with a knife. My mother probably does it the other way. You guys, in this cake, oh my God, it's so freaking good. Can you guys watch what I'm doing? I'm back over here with the cake. Right. Basically what I'm doing is just doing a layer of bananas all over the top of this cake. Take my long layers. Go right over the top of the cake, you guys. I mean, over that pudding mixture. Now, see what I got going here? See how nice and long these bananas are? It's not going to take me no time to cover this cake. Secret little tip right there when you're doing anything with bananas in a cake or a dessert. Do it, what? Oh, man, it's... You guys hear religious music in the background? Uh, hi, Priscilla. How you doing? Good morning. Thanks for tuning in, darling. Um, you hear religious music in the background. You probably do. It's not me. I mean, yeah, I like religious music. Don't get me wrong. But my roommate's downstairs with it cranked. He's working down there today. Getting my wreath center set up. So I can decorate a load of wreaths. For the family, you know how it goes, and friends, I enjoy it, because I used to work at the wreath factory for quite a while, I worked there 12 years total, I loved it, well, you know, but anyway, so, these bananas didn't go as long as I wanted, but that's alright, got loading them around, loading this banana on here, yum, it's my favorite part of the cake with the banana in this mixture, how about I talk? You want banana in every bite. You know it. Hey, Lynn, how you doing? Geez, those meals you cooked over the weekend look delicious. Good job. Especially that beef stew. The noodles, yum. Okay, just cover that cake up with those. Okay, basically, there it is, all covered up with the bananas. You guys see that? Hey, Mark, thanks for tuning in. Oh, this is a delicious dish. I got a few extra bananas here. I'm just going to break them up into little pieces and place them in places that look like they could use some more banana. Yum. God, you guys. I can't wait to have a piece of this. For brekkie. <laughs> you know it. Hey, John. How you doing? Oh, thank you. TJ Maxx, fine. I got a small. I got one like. I got this size. I got a smaller one just like it. Yeah, they come in handy when you're doing stuff like this. All right. So, let me put this one on. Okay, now, get rid of those. I'm going on, I gotta wipe my hands. I'm, I've already rinsed my strawberries. I've already rinsed my strawberries. So, just gonna cut the tops off. And I go long slices. Just cut them slices, you know. Not thick, thick, but not thin either. You want to taste the strawberry, too. Hey, John. God, you've been making some really nice cakes. You thinking about getting in the biz? You sure do it part-time on the side. All right, let me go on with these strawberries. Yep. Hey, you guys, just land strawberries over the bananas, okay? Just like this. You don't even have to really be fancy here because it's in a layer. Oh, you guys, I can't wait to dig into this. Yum! You know what? Yeah, my mother makes this cake all the time. We all love it. Everyone loves it that she makes it for. They're like, make that banana split cake. Yum. And I make it a lot down here, believe it or not, on the island. Um, let me cut a few more strawberries up.
You guys are tuning in that can't see because you know how these uh, phones are. Hold on. Okay. All right. Now I'm just going to get these sliced up. Oh, my printer just started. The phones are ringing. Oh, well. All right. Oh, you guys, I've got to take this. Bear with me one second. It's my pharmacist. Hello? Yes, how are you? Good. Okay. Oh, I wish you would. Okay. Oh, that sounds great. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh, I will. You too, darling. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, that was my pharmacist. Sending, my, sending me pills in the mail. Hey, Kathy. Uh, how you doing? Casey, how you doing? Casey, you know what? Yeah. All right, you guys. Let me get these strawberries. Almost done with this part. I'm telling you, this cake is so easy to make. Yeah, you know, a lot of steps to it, but easy to build. Oh my God, you guys, my telephone rings on stop. I forgot to put it on. Oh, guys, I gotta take this. I'm sorry, but hold on one second. Very important. Hello, hi. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm. Right, right. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, boy. Right, right, okay. Okay, well, thanks for letting me know. I'm on, we're on live, on live camera, so I gotta let you go. <laughs> okay, talk to you later. Thanks for letting me know, though. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, take the phone off the hook for a bit. Sorry about that, you guys. So anyway, we, uh, Oh, you guys, I'm sorry, just wrapped up in that phone call for a second. Okay, so just lay out with strawberries, like I said, okay, you guys? Nice. Oh, you can put as many as you want. You can put, make this with blueberries. Uh, I've done it with kiwi and banana. Um, in the summertime, strawberry. just in summertime, add blueberries. Yeah, boom, you've got a nice 4th of July dessert right here. Um, you know, but very popular in my family. But I would have sworn I had enough strawberries cut up. Because I like to say, I cut as I go because I like to save um, some for the top. And I'm going to tell you what I. Now, this is my mother's recipe, okay, you guys? I got to give her. She goes, oh, I'll make one of my recipes on there. I go, yeah. She goes, well, you better give me credit. I go, of course I do. I always do, Mama. I go, everyone knows I learned my cooking from you. She goes, yeah. She don't enjoy cooking like she used to, though. She goes, the older you get, the less you want to do it. I kind of know what she means. I feel that way sometimes. Okay, look here. All layered to strawberries, you guys. Kind of looks like tomatoes in the dish. I'm going to save those. A little animal that I feed that love these. All right, now. Simple. Now, you just top it. With whipped cream. Okay. Let me get this moved out the way. Top it with some whipped cream. Again, I go in gobs. And I go thick with the cream. 
Just like I did my pudding mixture, I do the same with my cream. Now this whipped cream, it's not whipping cream, it's heavy cream, and I use only powdered sugar in it, because I want this to be a firmer whipped cream, because when you make it with regular sugar, it seems to get watery quicker. By doing it with the, um, now you guys, when I do this for company and friends, I'll make like a piping bag with a big tip, and I'll make it look real fancy, but this is just for family, so you know, I'm going to just do it this way. Delicious either way. Tastes the same. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of go on and lightly spread my whipped cream. Okay. I'm telling you guys, this cake is so freaking good, you ain't going to stand it. Kind of, you know, it could be like a summer dessert, but I make it every uh, um, Super Bowl. Well, I never used to until I started making it for my good friend Monica every year for her and her crew. Um, now, I, when I make it, I sometimes make two when I'm making it for someone because it gets me hungry for it. I'm like, oh, I better make me one. You're just kind of spreading that on. I'm not the best froster with a knife, period, but... Hold on, my little knife I want right here. I'm just gonna take my little knife here. Gonna kind of even my my cream out here, here. You want lots of whipped cream because you know you got cake on the bottom. You got these nice fresh banana and strawberries that always go good with cream. Kind of smoothing it out a little bit first. Get it level. Not that it has to be perfectly level. I mean, it's a dessert. And it's just for you, just for at home. So why do I have to make it beautiful? Okay, now, I just, now just to try to make it pretty, I go with these little spins. See, kind of just like this. I'm not the best at this. I'm just trying, you guys. It almost looks like you're taking a finger. Your finger just going like this. But, you know, son, it's going to... Again, I'm not that fancy. I'm in... Hey, Lisa, darling, how you doing? Thanks for tuning in, sweetheart. Lisa's an old childhood friend, schoolmate. Used to be neighbors when we were kids growing up in our younger years. She used to live over near the monument. Along with Casey and myself and the Roys, the Carters. Tony and Rose and Pauline and all them. And then we had the Sartells over on one side. Dana Sartell, I can't remember. Yeah, I'm going by memory, you guys. Well, anyway, it started out good, but it ain't look. <laughs> hey, Michelle Libby, how you doing? Okay, now what I'm going to do is I need my cutting board back for a second. All right, let me just dry off, wipe off the uh, strawberry. All right, I just got a few walnuts. I'm not a big walnut fan, period. So I'm going to chop these up. Fine. All else like dust. There'll be a little chunks. My mother, now when we were growing up, my sister, my whole family liked walnuts. When my mother would make brownies, and I'd come home from school, and I'd see nuts on those brownies, I would freak out. I go, "Why did she put nuts on those brownies? She knows I don't like them." So then, she started just putting a whole one here and there, which was better than I could pick it up. But I still didn't like doing that. That awful, you guys. 
So I talked with my cousin Snooky on the phone. You know, the one that was here Halloween night. Oh, she had one good time with you guys. She says, oh, she says, well, she says, I'd like to get up there and do, do small cooking videos for them all, Cousin Toad. I said, well, you can. They seem to like you, you know. So she wants to come up, do a video. I told her not get any ideas, try to steal my show. I don't know. She's a lot of fun. And she wasn't kidding, you guys, when they were talking about the frog hopping contest. When we were down there, we was at the frog hopping contest. I couldn't believe it. Oh, God, it was fun. I never been to a frog hopping contest. Well, look, they did the frogs were hopping, like I said, and we cheered them on and all that crap. But um, later that night, they, well, poor frogs, their lives ended and we ate frog legs. Kind of bizarre, whatever. I guess that's something they do down there. See, I'm still chopping. I don't want any big, big... Ch I don't. But whoever likes walnut... And I'm not going crazy over the top of this whipped cream with these. It's just a garnish. I know, I should have used my chopper, but you know, I'm lazy. I like you. I just like... I do stuff mostly by hand, you guys. Not, you know... All right, you guys. Ha, ha, ha. Right here. You guys, look what I'm going to be doing. Yeah, I'm just going to sprinkle lightly over the top of these walnuts. Yep. You can do half of the walnuts. and You can even do them finer than this. But I know people like their walnuts. I mean, I can handle it on a dessert like this. Oh, you guys, look at this. Look, 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 look. I don't know what's going on. There's the nuts. Okay. Now, uh, let's see what I got here. For strawberries. Now, I always just kind of go in the middle with three strawberries. I always leave the greens on, too. Yep. And, hey, you guys, look. There's your cake. But now, I want to show you what I, what I like to do. Now, what you can do. There's the cake. What you can do is, I usually make this homemade, you know, pineapple topping for ice cream. And basically, what you do is just get the crushed pineapple and heavy syrup. Put it on your stove, heat it through. I add just a little tad of sugar, a tad of vanilla, but then I add just a little bit of a cornstarch root to thicken it up a little bit. And you got a uh, you got a homemade um, pineapple topping, okay, you guys? Yeah, this is what this is for. When I cut my own piece, because I got people that don't like the pineapple. So, what I do is, what, you cut a piece out, take a little bit of the pineapple, put it on your whipped cream, and then put a few, uh, some hot, first I will do my chocolate sauce, then I'll put my pineapple, and then I'll put a few cherries. That's how I do mine, you guys. But basically, this is how I do my strawberry banana split cake. Well, my mother's strawberry banana split cake. Mom, if you're watching, you know, it's yours. But don't that look good? And, if you wanted to, like, do this like the real true Sunday with the pineapple. You could do your pineapple topping on the cake, then put your pudding, then your bananas, or you, do it the way I did it, and then top your uh, strawberries, dollop it all over your strawberries over the top, then whipped cream it up, then do your whipped cream with your knots. And you know, I got some cherries here too, but I always just put the strawberries. But like I said, Dr. Then you could also drizzle all your hot fudge over the cake before you add your nuts. You know, make it really look like a, a Sunday cake. Yeah, you guys just go from there with it. But this is the basics, your base. This is delicious by itself, just the way it's going to be. But on mine, I will do this, and I will do this. And top her off with the cherry. You guys know it, right? So, who would like for me to try this cake? I'm dying. I'm gonna, too. <coughs> oh, 
Oh, you guys. Um, let me get a plate. I'll take the corner. No one likes the corner, but I don't mind it. And because this cake is much better when you let it set for a few hours in the fridge after you make it. You know how stuff is. I'm not having a big piece, but this is going to be my breakfast, you guys. Okay. I'll cut it so you guys can see. Make sure I got it cut right up. There we go. Oh, God, you guys. Mm. Hey, you guys. Kind of a messy cut, but it'll, it'll cut better when... Okay, now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to my piece. Yep. I can get this open. Take a little bit of the pineapple topping. Going right over the top of my whipped cream. That's what I'm doing. Yep. Because I usually, I do like the pineapple topping. And this... Pineapple top is a little juicy, so I didn't want to put it in the cake anyway. I should have just made homemade. There you go, guys. Go look. Just drizzle some chocolate on there. Oh, you guys, you guys. Yeah. There. See, don't that look more like a banana split cake? With the cherry and the pineapple on it? Yum. Okay, guys. Get a fork. Going in for the kill. Oh, you guys. Guys, look here. Mm. Cake. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Oh, guys, so good. Just like a banana split, but with the cake, not ice cream. Good. Okay, guys. Oh, wow, so good. So if there are any questions about this cake, you want me to share the recipe, I think my mother will let me share it. I don't think she'd care. That's a basic cake. A lot of people have probably that same recipe. But, hey, glad, you guys. I haven't seen you all weekend. So thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Um, hold on. YouTube, thank you for tuning in. Oh, hi, Shelly. Oh, your stomach's growling now? Hey, you guys, wait. I want to show you something. Let me get my... I just made... Oh, still hot. Look here. That's a crab meat mac and cheese. I'm, I'm not... I'm going to taste it for you. Because I know it's delicious. But... I am not do to share this recipe because tomorrow night I'm going to show you guys my mac... My lobster mac and cheese recipe. Because mm. I'll get lobsters tonight. And I ordered extra. I'm going to get some extra. So I can um, show you guys the lobster mac and cheese. I just want to taste. You guys, look at that. How nice and creamy. I put a few little peas in because I think the, I think the um, crab meat needed it. We get another four. Yeah, I just add some sweetness, you guys. Mmm. Oh my god. You guys. This is so good. I don't even taste the crab meat really. That's why I want to make it with lobster, but I had I had a half a pound of leftover crab meat. So I some mmm, I had some pasta left over and that cheese sauce from the other night. And I made the crab things. That's what I made with it. Mmm. So good. Okay. Oh my god. Yum. And I lightly, lightly top this with lightly breadcrumbs. Not a lot. All right. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. Happy Monday to you all. I know everybody hates Monday, so I hope I could cheer, hope I cheered you up a little bit on this Monday morning. Um, hey, I don't know what I'll be making next, but hey, I'm sure. Oh, yes, I do. I'm making the lobster mac and cheese. That's going to be wonderful. You guys know it, right? Yeah. Okay. Hey, you guys, have a good work day. Um, work week. I'll see you tomorrow night. If not tomorrow night, be the next night, but probably tomorrow night. Um, ooh, and I'm having lobsters for supper tonight. Ooh, can't wait. Okay, guys, have a great day. See you later, and take care. Don't forget, share me. Share, share, share. Subscribe on YouTube, you guys. I love you all. 
Okay. Just be friendly reminders to you all. Take care.